Craig, was there anything different you saw from the Pittsburgh Penguins last night compared to game one? Uh, not really. It was just a lot of the same. And, um, you know, the tight checking, um, close game, just like game one was. And, you know, it's just, um, you know, it's, uh, you know, nothing that we weren't expecting. Was there more zone time? It's certainly from our standpoint, it looked like there was more offensive zone time uh, from Pittsburgh. Um, yeah, I mean, in the second period, I think they had in our zone for a little bit where, uh, you know, we were defending. We, we defended pretty well. We kept them to the outside. And, um, you know, but as far as uh, scoring chances or, or chances we were giving up, uh, I didn't feel like there was any more in the second game than there was in the first. Is it a mindset to when you're 0-0 zero, zero through 40 minutes to instinctively on the road just try and protect that? Uh, you still need the, the score to win the game, so I don't think we're uh, consciously doing anything different in the third period than, than we would uh, any other time. No way? No. Okay. So it was more Pittsburgh then than you guys in terms of chance and um, shots? And yeah, I think they're, they're a good team, um, and they were... Uh, you know, they buttoned down the hatch pretty good there against us and didn't really generate, let us generate much. So, we'll, um, you know, we'll have to, uh, you know, look at the tapes. There's lots of video that we'll be able to uh, break down and make some adjustments. You expect more of it, just more tight games like that the You know, that, that suits our, our, our system and our, and our game play, and, and we've played all season long in the, in the tight checking games. So, um, you know, I think it's to our advantage to, to continue to play that way. See a lot more traffic in game two. Somebody said in game one they wanted to get at you more or just be in front of you more. Um, yeah, there was some traffic. They, um, you know, like I said, I didn't really see that much of a difference between game one and two. Um, it was a lot of the same. So uh, I thought they did a pretty good job in game one getting to the net. So I'm not sure what they were seeing. Hardest hit was Lerow getting to you there? Uh, yeah, he was just uh, coming back hard, trying not to let uh, Crosby have a, a free play. And, um, you know, we'll take that. No, not at all. He's, he's pretty light. <laughs> Craig, I got a 50-50 guess on this. Was it right skate uh, that you caught the edge? Or? No, left it skate. Was, I was yeah, going to say the left go, next. Yeah, when I went to go readjust, um, so I tripped butterfly, and we, uh, yeah. Pajo blocked it, went to go readjust and tried the butterfly again, and my left edge just caught, caught. in the ice, and I couldn't, couldn't slide to my left. Did you feel you had a chance, though, to get Oh, I had it. I just... <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> it's just frustrating, you know. Um, like I said the other night, uh, you know, a player loses an edge, he falls down, nothing, you know, usually nothing happens. Um, it's just uh, kind of an unlucky break for myself. Is it easy to shake that off? Is it easy to, to you know, just chalk that up to some bad ice? And um, it yeah, it's, stick with you? no, it's bad luck, and that's all that is for me. And I think um, there's a lot of good positive things going on in my game right now that, um, you know, win or lose, I usually have a pretty bad memory, as uh, most of the guys know.